Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, I wanted to share something with you guys for a lady. This video is basically a little bit for ladies. Um, men, you can take this as well. You just have to take it in a different way, okay? Um, I'm talking about garlic. Um, I got the wrong thing. Should have been getting the garlic. I got an onion instead. <laughs> garlic the benefits of garlic okay so us women we know that our ph can get off and get thrown off really easy um so the benefits of garlic it really works it balances your ph it fights infection any type of infection you have it will clear it up <clears throat> now it depends on how bad i'm not saying don't go see your doctor because i'm not a doctor um, I am in healthcare, but I'm I'm not a doctor. Okay, so take what I say as a um, more like a, a add-on or bonus to whatever your doctor says. And if you are one of those people who are into herbs or natural remedies, this this could be great for you. Okay, so the first thing with this garlic, um, if you ever had like a yeast infection or bacterial vaginitis and we know us being a woman you have to be very careful like who you sleep with um your sexual health and making sure that um you clean very well in between partners or if you're with the same partner you still want to make sure you get your checkup so my first recommendation would be go to your primary doctor and get checked if you experience any symptoms of <coughs> bacterial vaginitis or um, any yeast infection. If you've never had a yeast infection, you can Google yeast infections and they will give you examples of what yeast infection symptoms are. Now, if you, okay, most of the time bacteria vaginitis comes from between, in between sex partners. So if you're sexually active and you've had a sexual partner and you experience bacteria vaginitis um or trichomonas like they all any type of vaginal infection that you have garlic has been known to help i wouldn't per se i, I don't i'm not sure how well it will cure it but it will aid in getting some of that bacteria down and balancing off that ph now if you feel like you have a STD or something I would recommend that you go like I said go see your primary health professional first then use this as a supplement because I've tried it and it works now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna move my chair so you guys can see me a little bit better okay um, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to take your garlic and it comes in a whole big clove like a big old cluster of pieces a big old cluster ball what you want to do is take and pull apart a clove of the garlic and the clove looks like this of a hole you want to just pull apart a little clove okay after you pull apart the clove what you want to do is okay the clove has i'm trying to have my um name tag because I, I don't want it to be seen on camera the clove has that pointy part see it, it has the skin on it you want to peel all that skin off excuse me you want to peel all that skin off the clove and you're just left with the bare garlic clove now the pointy ends i normally take a knife and or just snap those off or cut those pointy ends off because this garlic is going up up the hole okay if you don't feel comfortable inserting garlic in you do not try it but it really helps in cleaning out your system and balancing off your ph <clears throat> so what you're going to do is you're going to get a clove of garlic you're going to cut the ends and unpeel it so it looks nice and smooth don't leave anything rough on it okay next what you want to do is put your garlic to the side okay you need a needle and you also need thread now i got this from the hair um store 
you know how when you sew in a weave or something you need a, a certain type of needle and thread okay this is what you need because you're gonna thread you're gonna poke holes into your garlic with your needle and you're gonna put some thread on your needle and you're gonna thread it into the garlic so that the garlic will have something to hold on to when you insert it into the vagina now when you insert it you need to have something to pull it out because that's where the string comes in so you want to make sure you you like loopholes and tie a knot so that the string will stay on to the garlic okay now before you um before you poke holes into the garlic and thread um the string into the garlic you want to sanitize this so you drop the needle how much ever thread you're going to use drop it into a pot and you want to boil it for maybe um i normally boil mine for like 10 minutes you just want to sterilize your needle and your thread because that needle that thread is actually going to be prob possibly going up inside of you with the garlic so you want to make sure everything is sterilized after you sterilize everything, then you can begin by poking holes. When you poke holes into your garlic, it's almost as if you instantly activate it. Once you activate your garlic, it it puts off a better fighting powers. So it kills bacteria better. It um you know cleans, cleanses away any bad bacteria or anything inside of you. Now <clears throat> Once you get your garlic, you sanitize your needle and your thread, and you thread the neat thread you some string and tie a knot so that the garlic is wrapped around and won't slip off the thread. You want to actually thread it through the garlic so it'll be a nice tight little conjunction. Okay, then what you want to do <coughs> is you want to make sure you bathe and clean really well your vaginal area and then you want to insert the garlic and you want to make sure you have enough string so that the garlic doesn't get missing when you insert it um as soon as you insert your garlic you're going to start tasting garlic you're going to like it's going to literally taste like you just ate the garlic but you didn't eat it now when you remove the garlic all the taste that you are tasting of that garlic is going to leave my hair is doing some funny stuff it's going to leave you're not going to taste it anymore now if you have some left up in you you will continue to taste the garlic until you have got all of it out that's why it's a good idea to make sure you thread your thread through your garlic good so it'll stay up there securely okay now there's several ways to do this. You can keep it in for how long you want to. I've only kept it in overnight, and that's it. Um, I tried to keep my regular checkups with my doctor, and I tried to always make sure that I'm protecting myself. Okay, you never want to have multiple partners, and you're not making sure that they're healthy and you're healthy. Okay. So if you're going to have multiple partners, you want to make sure you get checked. You want to know what you have. You need to know what they have. And if you don't know and they don't want to tell you, then you don't need to sleep with them. Simple as that. But you also want to protect your health because the more you get hooked on an antibiotic, the more your body can become resistant to it. So the more you use it, the less potent it'll be. And your body will get so used to it that it won't even react to it anymore so um you can sleep with the garlic inserted overnight so get a bath insert the garlic make sure you can see the string so you can pull it out when you get finished sleep in it all night wake up pull it out um most people say be careful because you could experience some discharge i didn't um i would just say be careful everybody's different some people's bodies may react different. Make sure you're not allergic to garlic. Before you even insert it, make sure you're not allergic to it. Um, make sure you're not allergic to certain type of strings and stuff because you don't know what your body could react funny towards. So after that, I would say the first time you try this using the garlic, you will see a big difference. You will take that garlic out. You're not going to smell like garlic. 
Um, after you pee maybe two or three times, you won't have any more of the garlic smell. It'll be gone. As soon as you take it out, the garlic leaves. It's not like you're going to be smelling garlicky down there. Um, so after you try it, maybe tr if you have a really bad yeast infection, maybe try it two to three times a week. And also, if you have bacterial vaginitis, after you've figured out what you have, um, that'll kind of tell you what you, how long you need to do it. So if you have bacterial vaginitis, and like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, so you need to go to your doctor. But if you have bacterial vaginitis, you want to get rid of that bacteria as quick as you can because it, it'll weaken your immune system and prolong the infection and make it even worse. So you want to keep it in overnight. You can sleep with it, or if you don't want, don't feel comfortable overnight, just use it for as many hours as you would like. I wouldn't keep it in longer than overnight, though. I would take it out the next morning. And also, um, take it out the next morning. Use it until your symptoms go away. Um, if your symptoms haven't went away at least by the third day, third or fourth day, I would definitely go back to your primary doctor and tell him or her um maybe they should recommend you a higher dose of antibiotics or um i've never tried this and taken antibiotics i just use this as something natural just to restore balance after my period or if i've caught a little yeast infection or bacterial vaginitis um but if it's something that you think is really serious, like I said, check with your primary um, doctor and see what they can recommend. Because sometimes, you know, natural things work, but we also have to be smart and wise when it comes to making decisions with our body and our health. We want to make sure that we're doing the right thing for our body. So the garlic is a supplement to whatever your health care provider has told you or if you've tried natural things before by all means, it's your body. You're welcome to take a shot at it. So um, leave a comment below. Let me know if how it worked for you, if it worked or not. Um, it worked for me. And I got so now I use it after I have a period. I'll go ahead and use it to kind of like restore pH balance. And most of the time, okay, it's been three or four months since I've been using it. And I realized after the first month, I really didn't have to use it anymore. So, um, it just depends on your body. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Um, you only have one body, so you want to be careful. Um, make sure, like I said, if you're sleeping with multiple partners, make sure you always use condoms and take care of yourself. Make sure they're clean. Know their health record. Um, know what you where you stand before you sleep with someone. You can always prevent things, but you can practice safe sex. You can, you know, by all means... Do what's best for your cooch, okay? That cooch, do what's best for it. So, I hope it works for you guys. Like I said, get right, put a comment down below. Let me know if it works or anything else that you've tried that you see helps with bacterial vaginalysis or yeast infections or balancing pH. But it worked for me, so I'm not going to be too long because I'll talk all day. Bye.